Thank you very much. And I would like to thank you very much, uh, Renewable Energy India, uh, eXpo, and the Cleantech Business Club uh, for inviting us uh, from uh, European Solar Manufacturing Council. Um, we are based in Brussels, uh, Industry Association, uh, to push forward uh, renewable energy industry uh, with manufacturing in Europe. Um, uh, together with my friend Professor Eike Weber, uh, we're going to be with you uh, tomorrow um, for our um, uh, ESMC and Clean Tech Business Club uh, session. And I would like as well to welcome you um, for this event. Um, what is very important is to understand that right now in Europe, uh, we are on the brink of solar age. Uh, with the recommendations coming from the European Commission uh, under um, President uh, Ursula von der Leyen uh, for the new Green Deal, uh, we need to understand uh, that we have to change things. Uh, but if we want to change things, we need to understand as well that we need to work more together. And together means not only for uh, Europe and uh, between European companies, but as well between uh, other uh, companies and other countries like India. So I welcome you as well to uh, uh, join our session tomorrow when there are going to be some uh, high class European companies. And uh, please have a look as well on the uh, recent publications coming from the European Commission that highlight as well that it is very important that we do more cooperation with India. Now, um, ESMC is a, a new industrial organization um, that has been created earlier this year um, under the leadership of uh, Professor Weber and uh, Gaeton Masson, um, who is the managing director of Becquerel Institute as well, based in Brussels. And we group uh, the major uh, European research institutes and a good number of a very important European industry. We intend uh, to push much more for solar industry for research, but we push as well much more for industrial applications. We should see that it's, it, that it's important that we uh, do more cooperation uh, as well with companies from India. There are lots of brilliant uh, young Indians uh, um, studying uh, in, in India and, and abroad. There are lots of wonderful companies that have, have a huge potential and that understood if we want to do the energy transition the energy transformation of the world, we need uh, to uh, cooperate much more. Right now, we are still with a, a very centralized energy systems. Uh, the tendency is, uh, uh, if I might quote um, Irina, uh, based in Abu Dhabi, is uh, for distributed energy systems. Distributed energy systems means that we have more decentralized uh, energy production and um, that we include as well the so far non-connected areas. If we have a look in the um, uh, history, and uh, besides uh, of being a business lawyer, I'm as well a historian, and this helps if we want to understand what is needed right now. Uh, meaning we need to see when there had been a huge development of a European economy that was at the end of the 19th century, during the Gründer Zeit, the times of the founders. Uh, at that time, we spent a lot of money and a lot of effort uh, towards the infrastructure. Now, the times are, are different. Uh, we do not need any longer um, uh, carbon power plants or nuclear power plants uh, that have a very bad um, uh, social um, uh, impact um, and um, health impact on the society. But what we need is a decentralized system. We need renewable energy systems um, that are resilient uh, and they take care about our planet. Why do we need to take care more about our planet? We have seen with the corona crisis, first, that it's very important that we uh, understand that uh, value chain need to be controlled. If there's just one part missing, um, we, the entire economy uh, might slow down. And we cannot allow right now uh, in these um, times um, that particularly the energy industry um, uh, goes down. But we need to understand as well that we need to produce electricity and energy. We should not only uh, have a look on electricity only when we talk about renewable energy, but as well heat and industrial um, uh, applications, but as well transport. And for all of this, uh, renewable energies are the key solution. The key solution, if we want to make progress, if we want to create um, uh, the future industry uh, that uh, takes care and takes into account uh, the needs of our future generations. 
and with the very important input coming from a young Swedish girl called Greta, um, who told us, well, listen, uh, people in the world, we have to change our habits, we have to panic. But panic is an imperative that is not uh, that positive. So what we need to understand is um, that our children and our future generations, uh, they're afraid of what is uh, the current development. We need to understand what they want and we need uh, to translate that into our imperatives. Like Lake Hammer Scher said uh, in his latest book, uh, um, something that he write, wrote already something like 15 years ago, um, and who's which is called uh, the energetic uh, uh, imperative. Um, we need to understand what is needed, what is needed for our future, and as well what is needed by our children and future generations, and that is clean energy. So let us translate the panic uh, imperative coming from Greta into the positive um, imperative for us, and that is invest, let us produce, let us research. So all these um, uh, imperatives should stimulate us to work more together, to think what would be the best solution, the best solution for our economy, the best solution for our, our energy system, but as well the best solution for our planet and the future generations. The question for us is as well, well why should India and Europe work together? Well, like you know, um, the first Renewable Energy Act has been uh, invented more or less uh, by Hermann Scheer and some friends in Germany. Uh, we just celebrated 20 years of this Renewable Energy Act. So there had been a, a huge, there has been a huge um, experience how uh, to develop as well um, support mechanisms uh, for renewable energy projects, but as well for renewable energy industry. So we do not have to reinvent the wheel. Um, there are lots of support mechanisms that exist. Uh, there's lots of knowledge that exists. What we should do now is that we find a way of cooperation. Um, uh, one way could be a uh, research cooperation, but what is needed as well is that uh, the existing uh, in industry infrastructure that exists uh, in, in, in Europe uh, will be uh, at the hand of, of Indian companies so that they um, can have a much faster rollout uh, for the production of uh, renewable energy uh, systems, particularly in solar PV. How can Europe support India? That is a very important question. I think the European Commission now understood uh, that they should not too much focus on Europe only. We need more cooperation and this cooperation will find ex expression as well in, in joint uh, initiatives uh, like um, the initiative that has been announced uh, by um, Prime Minister Modi and uh, uh, President Macron, but as well in joint conferences and in joint trade shows. I invite all of you in India as well to come when it's possible again uh, to, to come to Europe and to come to the trade shows to see what are the latest developments in Europe and try to find as well European uh, partners for manufacturing but as well European partners uh, for the machinery. Um, now in Corona times we've seen what is possible as well uh, on, on distance learning, what is possible as well on uh, distance communication, uh, on virtual conferences like the one we do right now, we need to work more together. So I invite you uh, to join as well uh, following um, uh, clean tech business uh, e-conferences we have organized uh, in April uh, a very important clean tech e-convention uh, and there's more to follow. Solar Manufacturing Council, ESMC in Brussels, and the Clean Tech Business Club. We work together. Our co-chair, uh, Professor Weber, uh, is as well heavily involved uh, with the Clean Tech Business Club, one of the leading figures uh, in the Clean Tech Revolution for Energy Transformation. I invite all of you to join us as well in the movement for more human to human, more people working together. Together, we are stronger.